is a review of the Secure Digital Solar and Dynamo AMFM radio. Inside the box, you'll find a brief instruction sheet, a female charging cable to charge your smartphone or any other uh, device that uses USB, a charging cable for the radio, and this beautiful radio itself. Testing, I left these on here, but the display is covered with a film. Make sure you remove it. And also, the solar panel is covered with a film. And I put it back on there, but it's a little hard to get off because it sticks pretty good. Make sure that you remove that if you're going to use it to charge with the light. This little radio is just packed with everything you might need. It makes a great emergency radio. It even makes a great bedside radio. It has an AM FM radio built into it with a off-on for the radio here and volume control and the tuning side. On the back here, you'll see a 15-inch antenna that can be extended to improve the radio reception. And on top of that, this device can be charged four different ways. You can charge it with the solar panel. You can charge it with a hand crank on the back that you can open up and crank. You can charge it with this cable here. There's an internal 300 milliamp hour lithium battery that you can charge with this cable. And this cable is 24 inches long, as well as this one here. In addition to that, you can actually use a, an AC power supply that converts it to DC that you can buy from the company to operate the radio. You can also just plug this into any uh, AC wall charger that has a USB output port and it will keep it charged and also operate the radio. Across the top here, you have a headphones jack. You press this and you turn on a flashlight that's on the end of the uh, radio. You have an alarm set. You have a time set, and while you hold this down, you can press hours or minutes and set the time. You can also turn the alarm off and on. There's a light button, which puts a backlit display on the, uh, t the clock, for example, so you can see it at night. Nice feature. And here you can select the AM, FM band, and there's a little red LED that indicates when the uh, radio is charging. Point out that when you turn on the light, and it's backlit here, this backlit light will stay on for about 10 seconds and then turn off automatically. The end, you can see a three LED flashlight. It's quite bright. You can see it almost blinds out the camera. Uh, this would be good in case of emergencies. It's a great emergency radio. It's also a nice bedside radio. I like how you can grab this thing, take it with you when you're out camping or hiking or whatever, and you have a pop-up crank to charge the radio and flashlight by simply spinning it. As I do this, you can see the LED on top lighting. To get a reasonable charge, you should crank this at about two to half to three revolutions per second for one minute to three minutes, and that will give you a suitable charge to use it. And cranking the handle for one minute gives you 27 minutes of radio time or 36 minutes of flashlight power. So charge it with the solar panel, and one hour in the bright sunlight will allow you to, to operate it for 30 minutes of radio or 32 minutes of flashlight power. Before, you can also plug it in, charge it with a USB uh, AC wall charger source or your computer, and a fully charged battery will provide nine hours of radio or six hours of flashlight. Use the crank, you should always remember to crank the, the uh, crank clockwise in rotation. See on the bottom, a off-on switch that will uh, kill the power. So if you're gonna use it only for like an emergency radio, you can turn it off. There's also a removable cover, and if you take that off, you'll see that this has an internal battery that is also replaceable. So that's amazing. I like that a lot. Uh, I hate making an investment in a radio to have the battery go out in three or four years, and then you can't replace the battery because it's mounted inside. It's a nickel metal hydroxide battery. It's 3.6 volts at 300 milliamp hours. I've reviewed a lot of uh, transistor radios. Some of them are very good and some of them aren't. This is an excellent one. I've been running through the AM FM channels and I'm getting a lot of channels and they sound pretty good. I'm going to turn it on for you. Fresh. Limited time only. Plus tax price. The participation may vary. Prices higher. Now let's go. Why additional charge for extras? Hello, it's Ryan Seacrest here. No. no. Hey, As you can see, the tuning was quick and easy. It's got good volume and good sound clarity. That You can grab this radio, just take it and throw it into a backpack and uh, go hiking with it. 
and it weighs in about 10 and 3 fourths ounces. This is an excellent radio. It's nicely designed. The exterior is painted with a rubberized paint, so you've got a good gripping surface if your hands are slightly wet. I like the fact that you can charge it fully with your uh, computer or an AC wall charger and use it for a long period of time. It's great for emergencies around the home. You can listen to the weather on your favorite stations if you're having a tornado or a hurricane. It doesn't have a weather channel, but it has quite a few other features. One of the things that this device does talk about is being able to plug in the uh, female cable to plug in a USB cable and charge your smart device. So you can see I have it connected to a, an Apple iPhone 5S. You're supposed to pick this up and crank the handle at three turns per second and by doing so your phone will start to charge. Now you can see I'm cranking. The uh, battery indicator does not say that it's charging and it says this accessory may not be supported. Uh, in my lifetime I've tested 25 different cranking devices with smart devices and I haven't got one yet that works properly. I think the problem is, is that the uh, electronic circuitry in the phone is designed to monitor the current and voltage and the current output put of this cranking uh, generator in here is about 400 milliamps and it's a bit noisy of a voltage source and so the Apple just simply rejects it and says it's not an acceptable source. It may uh, charge the phone but I've cranked it for minutes and I've seen no results. As you can see this is a very nice radio. It sounds good, it works well, it has a lot of features. A flashlight, an alarm clock, a clock, a backlit alarm clock, AM FM channels, can be charged four different ways or used four different ways. It works great. The only thing that didn't work on it was in my opinion the ability to charge my smartphone but you know what? I would buy something like this just to have to go camping or have as an emergency radio. From that standpoint I rate this as a five star. This is an excellent product and one of the best little hand crank radios that I've tested so far. It was done by JJ CEO. I'd like to tell you I received a sample for testing evaluation and I promise to give a fair and honest review.